Hi everyone, welcome back to Silla's Corner. And I hope you like what you see today. Um, if you've been here before, welcome. And if you're new, I hope what you like or you find something you like on my channel and you hit that subscribe button below. Um, let's get right into it. I have a gift basket again today. I've done a few of these today. <laughs> I uploaded a few. Um, this one is an actual uh, herbal tea one. And well, I should say blooming tea one. Um, this is, as you can see, a gorgeous bamboo gift package. It's absolutely beautiful for the box itself. And the labeling is actually pretty nice too. This is called, okay, I'm probably not going to announce this even slightly right, but I'm going to give it the best I can. It's Numi or Nami. N-U-M-I. Um, it's from Nami Organics Tea, and this is called the Nami Organic Tea Flowering Tea Gift Set. I got it from Amazon for $28 exactly. And like I said, it's uh, it comes in this gorgeous bamboo crate, solid, and it's just beautiful. And it says on the top, Right here, it says, assorted tea, flowering tea blossoms. One glass pot, and it makes about 18 pots full. Um, tea leaves, flowers, blossoms, and when steep. Oh, that's pretty. The actual case actually has some company's name kind of printed on the top of it. Definitely a box you can reuse other times got little locks on the side just they kind of slip out locks oh and it's attached when you open it as you can see it's solid it's nice really woven together and it's got a whole bunch of those little squiggles I guess I've been calling them put them over there a lot of times I save those for when I give other gift baskets and things might as well reuse it and then once you get past that whoops that's what it kind of looks like. Try not to push it too far forward and drop the glass. Okay. And over here we got the actual little blossoms. See, I'm huge on herbal tea, or I should say loose leaf tea. My preferred type of loose leaf tea is herbal, the fruity type ones. And growing up I always whenever you got sick you know your mom gave you tea with honey and all that in it and I was never hugely fond of it so one day one of my aunts actually suggested why don't you try actual loose leaf I bet she might like it but it's got a better flavor and everything after you steep it you know fresh or organic she so she bought me some and tried and I've been hooked ever since and the one thing I like about this type is there are these gorgeous little like balls and <laughs> well I should say like bulbs and when you drop them into the hot water or warm water depending on the directions of each type they actually bloom to this gorgeous little flowers and then flavor the water into making your tea now um, what do I actually try reading and telling you what's inside the Enchanted Bomb Steeping Instructions. They got a nice little thing on the side. Just a quick little one, two, three, one. Place one blossom in glass teapot that they prescribe. Pour boiling water over tea and steep until leaves have fully opened. About three to four minutes. Swirl tea to even the flavor if prefer and then serve and enjoy. This box contains one of each. It's got whoop. <laughs> Dragon Lily, which is a white tea with orange lily petals, has a velvet apricot flavor. Ooh, that sounds really good. I'm probably going to end up having one of these tonight. And then the next one is called Shooting Star. That one's a green tea and pink arsmana. Like I said, not really good at this. Um, blossom into the buttery fragrance with fruity notes. The next one's Lavender Dream. White tea with lavender flowers complements a tangy hibiscus flower flavor. Jasmine lovers. 
white tea and jasmine blossom releases sweet fragrance and honey nectar taste. <laughs> Sunset Oogland. Oogland and lily flower have a nutty richness heightened with a touch of peach. Definitely these are sounding up my alley. And then the next one is the golden jasmine, golden tipped, black tea scented with jasmine and prints, hints of, ooh, chocolate. <laughs> so they definitely give you a little bit of each, which I really like. I prefer the more fruity, but I do like some green teas and white teas and black teas, you know? I actually have a subscription box that will be on here soon. See, as you can see, they don't really say which, but they have the little picture on the side so that you can more or less figure out which one it is. Cute little pink dot on the top, you can definitely tell. If any of you are interested in maybe seeing exactly how these work and they're gorgeous little flowers, um, why don't you leave me an, a little message or a note down below and I will gladly actually maybe make a video of it and I'll pour the thing, let it steep, you know, I'll fast forward in real time and <laughs> let it steep and then you can see the gorgeous flower and I can try more to describe whatever scent or thing that I see it in. Okay, and then they actually give two little like sample packs, both the same one. They're green tea, medium caffeine, gunpowder green, full leaf, smooth green tea pearls. Ooh. Each one looks like enough for, um, steeps two to three minutes for iced tea, steep two tea bags, cool and pour over ice. So, ooh, so these are iced tea ones, which is nice. I'll try to get a closer view if my fingers won't run away. There you go. <laughs> um, and then the only thing left in here, it looks like. The cute little thing is the actual little glass vase that it comes in. Or no, vase. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> oh, it's taped. But it's actually a really good size. It's kind of thick glass, which is nice, so it's not so delicate that you're afraid to smash it. But it's a really good size thing. And cute little cover. Like I said, yeah, I'm just gonna put that over here. <laughs> and then that's it, as you can see. Whoop. I'm gonna have these everywhere. But, um, like I said, it was only $28, so I think it's very worth it because if you do loose leaf tea, from places, you know, like Tivana or any of like that, you know quite well how expensive they can be, but how great for your body and your health and even your complexion, because there are some that are great for your skin and that, that they are. So I would severely recommend this. And yeah, if you're into like the blooming ones, this is definitely something that you would probably love and love for probably yourself like I did, because I honestly bought this for me, or a loved one that you have. And like I said, this box is definitely something you can use for little keepsakes or, well, pretty much anything. Maybe even to keep like nice little other pots or maybe the special spoons that you use in there or your little steepers to keep them separate and safe. Well, that's about it on this one. I'll stop rambling your ear off now. <laughs> I hope that you like what you saw and I'll leave all the information down below and... I hope to see you again here at Silas Corners. Bye!